they have turned their attention to the West. They are forcibly occupying their land and telling them that they cannot do anything about it. A whole presidency in a country openly and brazenly supporting terrorists. All of you watching and listening all over the world, you know that Miyeti Allah is a terrorist organization. You know that. They have killed. They have said that Benue State is theirs for the taking as a spoil of war. All of you are aware of it. You know what they are doing. Anywhere you have Fulani headsmen, terrorists for that matter. They tell you, oh, they, they, are, they are pastoralists. They are, they are allowed to do their businesses in the forest. All of you are aware of it. But you kept quiet, hoping that somehow Tinubu will emerge as the president, or an Igbo man will come as the president, and your family will start enjoying. But in the meantime, you have no more farmlands, you have no more forests, you have nowhere you can call your own home. The same stupidity exhibited by, by Hausa peasants that enabled Fulani to take Sokoto from them, that enabled Fulani to take Katsina from them, that enabled Fulani to take even Kanu from them. Every Hausa land is occupied either by a Fulani emir or a Fulani governor. Some of you don't want to reason, you don't ever, ever learn. That the main aim of Fulani is to conquer your land and enslave you. Look at how some people today, as I wrote yesterday, they are worse than a discarded tissue paper. They are worth nothing. Only their language is what is relevant in their lives. Everything else is lost. All of you are repeating the exact same mistakes that the house has made. That is why they are in trouble. And that is why they can never ever come out of it. They are all suffering from what I would, an advanced version of the Stockholm Syndrome. Can you imagine that these people came into their land and took it over and they cannot do anything about it? Hausa is gone. It took Fulani very many years before they came out of their shell to say we are Fulani. Remember before, many years ago, they told you we are Hausa Fulani. We are Hausa Fulani. We are, because that time, their, uh, their subjugation of the Hausa race hasn't been completed. Now they have completed it. Have they not completed it? And what is happening right now? I ask you what is happening now. Fulani have now come out to tell you we are Fulani people. Is that not what they are saying now? They are not telling you we are Fulani. No more Hausa Fulani. What does that tell you? That the Hausa race no longer exists. Do you want the same thing to happen to you? Do you want the same thing to happen to your families? To your villages? Do you want your towns, let's say Obomosho, to be renamed into a Fulani name? Do you want Tonesha to answer a Fulani name? Forget all the nonsense about unity of Nigeria. All they are uniting against is your common interest. Unless you prefer epileptic um, a power supply, unless you prefer to live your whole life without running water, unless you want to live in abject poverty and deprivation, your only alternative is a revolution. Let nobody discourage you. All the countries of the world doing very, very well, they all went through a revolution. You must go through it. If you don't go through it, you can never ever survive. As a people, Fulani will take you over. As simple as that. This very day, we are making it known to the whole world that the Muslim extremist dictatorship masquerading as a secular democratic government must be demolished. It must be demolished for you to survive. They have to be demolished. If you do not demolish them, your lives will end very, very miserably. I assure you. I assure you. The zoo is on its knees. Everybody knows that the zoo called Nigeria is on its knees. Who doesn't know that? Everybody knows. Nothing is functioning. You are all aware of it. When they say go and register for NIM or whatever NIM or whatever rubbish is called, all of you trooped out without legislation, without any laws. Fulani can control you however they like. Once they announce it, Yoruba newspapers very foolishly and stupidly will support them because they want Tinubu as the president. And you are all dying every blessed day. You are all dying every day. Had you people risen up to say that what is happening in Nigeria is bad, there is no way that Pa Fasorenti's daughter will not be alive today. That is the price you pay for duplicity. That is the price you pay for treachery. That is the price you will continue to pay until you rise up and say enough is enough. 
It is up to you to do it. You did it during NSARS. You can do it again. Can you imagine Fulani people telling you, if you remove Fulanese from Yoruba forest, imagine Fulani telling you, if you remove them from your ancestral lands, there will be war, and you are panicking, and you have not asked yourself, why are they not saying something about the East? Why did they not say?